Welcome to the Huskies Hockey Insider Podcast. I'm Mick Hatton from The Rink Live and uh, very happy to be joined by St. Cloud State Center, Grant Crookshank. Grant, uh, how, how are you doing today? How are things going? Good. Yeah, things are great. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, let, let's start off, I guess, by talking about a little bit about last weekend. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you don't get six points every weekend and, and everything else, but at the same time, uh, you guys snapped a losing streak at, at Magnus Arena. Uh, I thought you guys showed uh, a, a lot of backbone uh, throughout that series. I don't know. G- give me your take, I guess, on, on what you thought uh, of, of last weekend's series. Yeah, I thought they were both really great games, uh, fun games to be a part of. Um, Denver's a really good hockey team, and uh, um, I think, you know, we showed we are too, if anyone else had any doubt about that. But, um yeah, I think Friday was a was a great kind of team effort. I think everyone played really well, um, kind of stuck with our game plan, um, with what we had talked about kind of prior to to the weekend, and um, and then Saturday just didn't come out ready, um, and you know gave up a few quick ones just to start the game. And um, I thought if there's going to be any positives out of that, uh, our team showed a lot of a lot of character, kind of staying in there. Um, and compete in the rest of the game you know we could have folded in and, and packed it in and uh <laughs> and um you know quit there and and thrown in the towel and been done for the weekend but um you know our team showed up for sure um in the second and third periods and, and really made that game a close one um which was was cool to see obviously you don't get the points so um you're still disappointed but uh if there was a positive it was that um, you know, our team showed a lot of compete there and, and um, didn't give up uh, the rest of that game. Yeah, I mean, for people who don't know, that this was not your first trip to Magnus either. Three seasons yep. at, at Colorado College. So you've, you've played just an absolute ton at, at, at that arena. And and you know how that goes, right? I mean, uh, you know, it, it, once they kind of – they're a team that can, can really just roll you. I mean, once they kind of get going at home, can't they? Yeah, it's I love playing there. I think it's such a cool rink. Um, they usually have great crowds. Um, and yeah, I mean they they jumped on us early on Saturday, and um, like I said, I think it showed a lot about our group that you know we didn't pack it in and throw in the towel. So um, they're a great team. They, they they skate really well. They get up and down the ice, and um, I'm definitely excited for when they come to town here in St. Cloud, and um, and we get to play them here at home. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, th- th- there's a, obviously there's a, there's a lot of new elements still, you know, with, with, with this team, uh, you, you, of course, being, being one of them, you know, three transfers, uh, you know, uh, I think it's seven, seven freshmen on this team. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of new parts to, to this team and, and, and you play a weekend like that. I mean, is that kind of a, you know, a big learning curve, you know, big learning curve in terms of finding out what your team is kind of made of that kind of weekend against a good team like that? Yeah, I think so. I, I think um, as I've kind of touched on before, I think we know how special our group is. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we're a really close group. We're an older group um that's seen a lot and and been around and and played in a lot of college hockey games which I think definitely helps um and we can show some of the younger guys kind of the ropes and um but yeah I think like I said uh, I think it was two really good hockey teams and um I'm excited for when they have to come here and I think it's going to be a battle um for points in our conference you know the rest of the way and um definitely like a, a tough one I guess to start off in conference play but those are the ones that you want to play in. And um, it's great to kind of start off conference play with one of the top teams uh, and then CHC and in the country. And um, I guess a, a good measuring stick to see where we were, but um, you know, we know we have a lot more to work on and, and we can be much better too. Yeah. Uh, you know, a little more adversity that, uh, you know, you know, a lot of people didn't know that you guys kind of went through last weekend. Kyler Kupka, unfortunately not able to to play last weekend is going to be out again. Uh, you know, this weekend he's been on your line, uh, since you, basically since you, you got here. Uh, but you know, how, how did, uh, you know, how did you adapt to that? And, and, uh, you know, and just talk a little bit about Kyler and what, what he's kind of brought to your line so far to the season. Yeah, definitely miss him, my uh, my roommate, and um, he's been so much fun to play with. Him and Mike, um, they're both such great skaters. Um, you know, with Mike being my kill partner, he's he's 
Um, another guy that can skate really well, causes a lot of turnovers. Um, and then with Coop, same thing. He's really hard to play um, down low. He holds on to pucks. He makes a lot of great plays with his stick. Um, and we found some really good chemistry kind of early on in the season. Um, so definitely kind of hurts with him out. Um, hopefully he can get back really quick. But, um, you know, I think our team did a great job um, with guys stepping in, Spelly coming in to play on our line. And um, I think we just have a, a team that competes, that cares. Um, and, and I think it doesn't really matter who you slot where. Um, our team's going to skate and compete, um, you know, and work their tails off. Yeah, what, what are you know? You mentioned Aiden Spellis. He uh, kind of took his spot on on your wing. Uh, just, just talk about uh, playing with him a little bit, and and what what does he kind of bring to this team? You know, now that you've been around him a bit too. Yeah, he's a great leader. Um, one of the older guys on our team, and and a transfer too. And um, you know, I wasn't here last year, but um, certainly I kind of get the sense that he earned some respect really quick with his work ethic and the way that he shows up every day. Um, he's just, he's such a great guy, such a great teammate, um, and loves to play fast and kind of cause havoc and, um, and try and get in on the four check and back check and, uh, can be on the kill too. So, um, such a great guy, um, as every person is on our team, it's such a, a unique group that, um, you know, I've definitely said it before. It's, uh, it's awesome to be a part of. Yeah. I, and, and, you know, we, we've, touched on this before but uh you know the you've played on a lot of a lot of teams a lot, a lot of different chemistry a lot of different you know personalities in every locker room or whatever but uh uh you know is, is there a way i guess to you know describe i guess the difference maybe in this locker room versus other locker rooms you've been in i mean are there some it sounds like there's some distinct differences for you i guess that you've experienced here but you tell me yeah, a little bit. I, I think uh, it's a little hard to compare uh, mm -hmm. from year to year. Um, I think, as I've, I've said, uh, I think I said it last week uh, to someone, it's, you know, hockey guys are hockey guys, and mm -hmm. um, they're such good guys everywhere you land, and I've been so um, fortunate, and, and I'm so thankful to have met so many great people um, at these different schools that I play for and in, in junior as well. Um, I think one of the special things about our group this year is uh, we are a little bit older, uh, which I think definitely helps in college hockey. Um, guys have just, you know, played in really big games um, with, you know, many guys on this group that have been in a national championship um, and played in some, some very big pressure moments. Um, so that definitely helps when you play teams like Mankato and Denver, um, you know, where maybe they have some momentum at times, uh, but our team doesn't panic. Um, mm -hmm. and just kind of like on Saturday, we could have, could have thrown in the towel, panicked and, and lost that game, you know, six zero or something. But, um, our team came in first intermission, um, you know, realized we didn't put our best effort out there and, um, kind of turned it around and, and realized, uh, we were still in a game, still in a battle and, um, worked our tails off to kind of get back in it. So, um, I think that's one of the biggest things that I've come here realizing is just, you know, we have, a a veteran group that has been around and um, knows how to treat one another, knows what those big games are like and um, knows how to react in different certain uh, situations. So um, it's a really special group for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, you played for a number of different coaches, Brett Larson now uh, is of course your head coach. Uh, what are things that now, again, that you've been around him a few months that, you know, stick out for you, I guess, when, you know, about playing for him and, and, and what that experience is like for you. Yeah. He's been awesome. He's been uh, so great for our group and, and so great for me just to learn from him and, um, he's very purposeful and, and wants the players to know, you know, why we're doing certain things, um, you know, why we're playing a certain way, why the schedule is set up a certain way. Um, and I think that just builds a lot of trust within the team. Um, you know, instead of wondering why we're doing this and why we're doing that. And, um, he's just, he's been very, uh, purposeful with his actions, with his words, um, and he just knows how to get his point across and, and it builds a lot of trust within our team. Um, and you want to just run through a wall for the guy. Um, and, and he makes such great in game decisions too. I think, um, one of his best assets for sure. And, 
Um, you know, he's definitely played in some, some big games, won a couple national championships. So he's been around and um, it's been a lot of fun learning from him and, and uh, being around him at the rink every day. Yeah. Uh, you know, c- coming into the season, uh, you know, uh, 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 yeah, again, this is something you and I have talked about, but uh, you know, for the purposes of this podcast, we'll go over it again. But uh, I, I think one of, one of the, the, the big things, you know, for you, I mean, I, I, I think, Center really seems like uh, the, you can play both positions. Obviously, I mean you're 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 a good hockey player and, and you're adaptable. But but it just seems like center maybe fits your personality and maybe your style a little bit better. But would you agree with that? Or you know, I mean, w- w- was that a you know something that's helping you? I guess uh, right now. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I really like center. Um, I take a lot of pride in faceoffs. Um, I love being able to to take faceoffs on the kill too and. Um, just being a 200 foot player, I think is huge and something that, you know, I'm going to need at the next level, um, you know, if I want to play, uh, in the national league. So, um, I think it's, it's been great for me to use my speed in the middle, um, drive defenders back and be able to get back on the back check and, um, play low, help sort things out. I think, um, that's kind of nice too, as an older guy, you know, even though I play with, um, two other older guys, if I'm ever out there with, um, with some freshmen or sophomores and just helping sort things out. Um, as I've said, we have kind of an older group. It's nice when, you know, older guys are able to, um, to help out in those aspects. So um, I love center. I think it's a lot of fun. I think I get to use my speed really well. And um, yeah, I love it. it. You know, one one of the things that strikes me too, I mean, uh, you know, with, with the number of your goals here this season, I mean, you, they've been within, I swear, like 12, 15 feet of the net it, it, right in front of the net. I mean, you, you know, has that always been, you know, kind of part of your, your game or, I mean, now at center, I mean, does it allow you more freedom where you can get to the front of the net a little bit more? Yeah, I think so. I, I think a little bit of it comes from um, just the way that, that Mike and, uh, and Coop and I have been playing. Um, like I said, I think all three of us are, are really tough to defend down low and, and great off the cycle and, um, kind of creating offense off turnovers. And um, there's been a couple times where that's been the case. And, um, you know, a, a puck goes low and, and uh, you got to get to the dirty areas sometimes if you want to score. And, um, you know, that's not really a secret. So, um, yeah, I think just finding ways to score um, is really important going to that front of the net, um, trying to find some, some loose garbage in there. Um, doesn't matter how they go in. Yeah, your your goal uh, on Saturday night was definitely uh, in, in that in that vein, right? I mean, you you were, it looked like you took about four or five shot, <laughs> shots yeah. from other guys, but, but you were able to get your stick on that. Yep, yep, just trying to find uh, some loose change in there. And uh, VD had a, a good shot, um, you know, very low, so it creates a rebound, creates um, some havoc in front. And then, yeah, it's just whacking away, hoping you hit something and, and get it over that line. <laughs> uh, it, you know, th- with this weekend, yeah, you know, Western Michigan uh, coming in, a lot of new, you know, kind of like uh, this team. I mean, a, a lot of new faces on, on Western Michigan. I know you guys haven't do- dove too deeply into them, but at the same time, you you see the scores, and uh, you know, you you see that uh, you know what they're kind of capable of. Uh, you know, what what are the things that are are big for you guys? I guess going into this series against Western, you think. Yeah, they've been they've been hot lately. Um, so I think it's going to be a great weekend. I think they play up and down the ice really well. So I think uh, kind of our rush play is going to be very important, um, whether that's offensively and and th- defensively as well. Uh, making sure we have good back pressure and um, always kind of having a guy high, uh, making sure that they don't get too many odd man rushes. And um, I think we just continue to play our game. It doesn't really matter who we play against. Uh, we want to play fast. We want to play physical and, and we want to play up and down the ice and then heavy down low. Um, we really want to create offense down low and, and hold on to pucks and, um, you know, cause turnovers and, and be hard on their defensemen. So um, I, I really don't think it matters who we play. Um, obviously, it just, you know, a couple things here or there going into different weekends, but um, we just have to continue to play our game. 
Uh, the the physical side of the game, Grant. You know, I mean, you're you're not obviously you're not six three and you know two hundred twenty pounds, but but I, I I've been impressed with with just uh, you know your ability to 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 play in those physical tough areas. You know, has that always kind of been part of your game as well, uh, or is that something that's kind of developed over time here? Yeah, I mean, maybe developed a little bit over time, but um, I feel like I have a pretty uh, pretty big base down low and and i've worked really hard to um to be strong in those areas and um it's so important at this level especially at at the pro level too um with how big some defenders are you have to be able to hold them off and um definitely something i'm still working at too so um i i think you know as much as physicality people might think it's blowing guys up it's um just making sure you have a great stick and on the forecheck and on the back check and um, you know, get a little rub out, take their guy out of the play. And, you know, eventually that leads to, to turnovers and going the other direction. So um, that's one of our focuses too. Uh, you know, for people who don't know, uh, your, your, your mom and dad are both still involved in skating. They're, they're skating coaches. Uh, you know, your, 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 your dad, Dave does a lot of coaching of not only uh, speed skaters, but also for, for hockey players. Uh, are, are there ever times, I guess, where, where you talk, you know, you're skating with them. Uh, did you work out, you know, with, with your mom and dad at all, I guess, on, on different yeah. things or. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My dad is, uh, is my skating coach and in, in the summer and, um, throughout the year too, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, yeah, we have a great little group, uh, that we have in Milwaukee in the summers. He's got his own gym. Uh, we're able to get on the ice pretty much whenever we want. And, um, and then it's kind of a family affair with my sister skating, uh, with her speed skating and, uh, my dad and, and my mom being her coach as well. So, um yeah we we all work out together um she's really strong too so um she kind of keeps us honest in the gym and <laughs> and I try to push her too um so I think it's great that we have that and um yeah he's he works with me throughout the year too um just with what he sees on tv or in person um seeing if there's any things that I can make adjustments on and um yeah he's a he's a great coach he's been um, around the game for a long time now 20 plus years and and uh, he knows a lot so very fortunate to have him yeah D does that ever, is that ever caused any tension at all or, or are they pretty good about you know uh, about teaching and working with you yeah they've been great I, I can't say enough about them they've been uh, they find the perfect balance of coach and and parents um, I know it can be you know, especially hard for my sister trying to follow in their footsteps and they do such a great job with her. Um, it's a little different for me playing hockey, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm super close with both my parents. Um, we can talk about anything together and, and be honest with each other. And it's led to a couple um, heated, spirited battles uh, in the gym or on the ice, but, um, you know, they care so much about my sister and I and, and we care so much for them too. It's it's been uh, it's been great for us. Uh, how, remind me again. How, how old is your sister? What your sister's name is, and uh, how, how are things going with her speed skating right now? Yeah, uh, her name's Blair. She's twenty two. Um, she's trying to make the next uh, Olympic Games. Um, so yeah, she's training out of Milwaukee on on the oval there, and then at my dad's gym. Um, and she's she's really really strong, and uh, definitely. Um, I, I think she's going to make the next games for sure. There's a lot of work left, but um, she works really hard at it. Is, is she a sprinter or is she a long distance skater? What, what's her specialty? Sprinter. Yep. Sprinter 500. Okay. So uh, similarities with you, with your mom then a little bit, huh? Yeah, yep, definitely. Yeah. I think uh, the 500 meter and, and thousand are kind of her two races. Um, I think 500 a little bit more. Um, yeah. She's, she's super strong. It's uh, it's crazy to see in the gym in the summer. It's uh, it's really cool. Well, boy, I mean, uh, you know, for, for for your sister to go into speed skating with with two parents who have been Olympic speed skaters, uh, I, I I don't know. I, I don't envy her trying to trying to live up to all that. But but it, it's, it sure sounds like she's, uh, you know, she's doing a good job of it. Yeah, I don't really think that you know she thinks anything of it. I think. Hmm. Um, like I said, my parents have been so great, um, handling that situation, you know, especially my mom, um, being able to not 
step on any toes or uh, put too much pressure on her or anything. They, they want us as their kids to do whatever makes us happy. And for me, that's hockey. And for her, it's, it's speed skating. And um, they're definitely going to give her the tools that she needs to succeed and um, push her to where they think that she can go and, you know, where we know she can go. And um, it's been really cool to see over the past couple of years. Uh, you know, one, one of the real positives uh, for, for the Huskies over the weekend was was Josh Litke, uh, you know, coming back after after being out, after uh, suffering a concussion that first, very first game uh, of, of the season. Uh, boy, you know, what, what does it do for a team to, to see a guy like that kind of, you know, coming back from, an, you know, a really tough situation and, and able to, he played a lot of, you know, a fair number of minutes, played some big minutes for you guys too. Yeah, he's such a great player, um, such a great teammate too. So we were all super happy um, when he was able to get in there and, and thought he played really well. Um, having said that, it was, you know, his first, basically his first game um, after that kind of scary incident real early in that first game. So, um, you know, it's definitely not easy to come in playing one of the best teams in the country on the road uh, mm -hmm. after having a concussion. I thought he did a great job. Um, and he's someone that we all care a lot about and, uh, he's such a great teammate. So we were super pumped for him, uh, to be back in the lineup. Yeah. Brett was saying he made it look a little bit too easy. I, I, I'm like, I, I can't imagine coming back in that, that situation, not being, a, you know, I don't know. I, I don't want to say timid, but I mean, but, but at least very aware of, you know, the body contact and stuff, but he, he, he sure seemed like he just got right back in it. Didn't look like he skipped a beat. Yeah, for sure. I, I think um, even though maybe he was a little frustrated with how long uh, the process took with the concussion, I think, you know, he, he eased into it, um, didn't rush anything, which I think was, was great. Um, you know, and then slowly got into the contact stuff in practice and, you know, was asking us, Hey, you know, hit me and, and get in on me. And um, so he really wanted to be ready. And I think he was, um, I think he had a great showing there and, and I'm sure it felt great for him to be back. Yeah. Well, and uh, just, you know, the, the depth of, of the defensemen uh, on, on this team, uh, have, have you been around a, a team with this kind of defensive depth uh, before or not? I think last year, last year um, at Minnesota, we yeah. had some defensemen. I think this year it's a little bit different. Um, our D are, are a little bit older. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a little bit of a different system in place and, and these guys, um, they just know how to play. Um, I don't really know how else to explain it. They, they know what to do in certain situations, whether we're getting hemmed in, um, you know, they know when to, to make a play and they know when to, you know, live to fight another day. And um, yeah, our, our decor is, is super deep. Um, they all bring something a little bit different and um yeah, they're they're a pain to play against in practice every day, um, but super fun to play with on the weekend. I mean, they make so many kind of good sneaky little plays um, that help us get out of our our own end. And um, yeah, they've been fun to play with for sure. But playing against them, do you think that's helped you as a forward? Yeah, definitely, definitely yeah. for sure. Uh, you know, I, I would say it's a it's kind of a a little bit of. Uh, back and forth between our forwards and our D because um, we have a lot of forwards that are really hard to play against. And then <laughs> our D are, are really hard to play against too. So um, I, I love when we have drills in practice where we're kind of going five on five or, um, you know, three on two down low stuff like that, where, um, you know, you're trying to hold on to the puck and, and create plays down low. Um, as I've kind of said, that's one of, one of our, um, you know, keys to our game. So, um, it's, it's fun to play against in practice. It sucks at times, but, um, it's definitely making us all better. Uh, you know, how, how much, uh, you know, has it helped you just, uh, you know, being back on a power play and, you know, getting a chance to, you know, one of the great things about being on a power play is obviously the, it's some of the more skilled guys on the team are out there with you and, you know, just to be out on, on a power play unit with this team, what's that been like for you? Yeah, our, our power play, both units have been so good this year. Um, you know, there's structure within our power play, but there's also a lot of freedom. Um, so it's been a lot of fun to, to see. I've always 
I told Lars this, you know, one of the first times we met, you know, I wanted to know what they do with their power play here at St. Cloud because it's be really good every single year. Um, I, I think both units have been really good. I, I, there's um, so many great players on our team that, that know how to make um, those sneaky plays that I'm talking about and, um, you know, are great on, on breakouts and entries um, and setting up the puck in the zone and, and getting the puck to the net. So, um, you know, even though I haven't had a, a ton of power play goals or anything like that, um, it, you know, it feels great to be out there with those guys uh, making plays and at crucial times too. We've had a couple really big power play goals uh, thus far um, for the season. At the same time, seven, you've gotten goals in seven out of the 10 games. Uh, this has got to feel pretty amazing, uh, you know, this start that you're off to. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, the transition's been really easy. Um, I think it's it's just been so so nice um, with the guys. They've they've really brought me in and um, and welcomed me. And and the coaches have been so great. I can't uh, speak highly enough about both the players and the coaches and the people around this program. It's um, it's something that I've heard a lot about. You know, from St. Cloud before I got here. It's just the people around uh, around St. Cloud. So. Um, it's been such a smooth transition. It's definitely helped with, with my play on the ice. And, um, you know, we have a, a really special group and a, a heck of a hockey team that's making it uh, a lot easier. And um, definitely playing with Mike and Coop was um, a little bit easier for me too. <laughs> well, uh, Grant, I want to wish you all the best of luck here coming up, up against this weekend and uh, against uh, Western Michigan. And want to thank you for your time as always. You're always uh, you, you're always very gracious and uh, always great to talk to. You've got a lot of insight, so I, I greatly appreciate you taking some time. And uh, best of luck this weekend. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right. This has been the Husky Hockey Insider Podcast. I'm Mick Hatton with The Rink Live. Please check out all of our great content here on the website.